Hey everyone, Minutia Minute here, coming at you guys with another unboxing. Uh, today is a really good example of why I need to be doing the 365 movie challenge. And this represents why I have so many movies in my collection that I still need to watch. What you're going to find out on Sunday is that I did a whole bunch of martial arts movies for my second week of the 365 movie challenge. As a matter of fact, I focused on a particular series of movies, which you'll find out about on Sunday. After watching the first movie and having a tremendous amount of fun, I immediately went out and bought another 13 kung fu movies. <laughs> this is a problem I have. <laughs> so those of you guys who are a little more eagle-eyed, you may have noticed I had this on display already in my Sunday video. But as you can see here, I haven't had the chance to open it yet, so I thought it might be kind of fun for us to do that together today. But yeah, long story short, I need help. I knock seven movies out of my collection, and then I turn around and add 13 more. So obviously we've got a pretty beefy Arrow Video Set limited edition to open up. So without any more preamble, let's dig into it. All right, so a little closer look. Really a elegant cover design, I feel like, on this. Flip it around. You can see the list of the films, special features. I'm not going to read through all of this for you guys now. Obviously, this is a J card, so we'll go ahead and pull that off. And we've got more elegant artwork on the back. Really pretty cool. There's the spine. The front, again, without the J card. And then, as you can see, we've got a couple books on the inside, which we'll open up. I am going to make this a pretty basic unboxing. Um, I have not seen any of these movies. I figure if I hate them, I can always circle back and sell this online later. I will go through these as part of my 365 movie challenge, and I'll talk about the special features and stuff like that in a little bit more detail when I get to that in the marathon. So let's start with the book. Shaw Scope Volume 1. Pop this bad boy open. And you get, uh, it looks like inside there is a history of the Shaw Brothers Studio. And then notes on each of the movies. A chapter on the stars of Shaw Scope. And then Lip Flaps and High Kicks by James Flower, which I'm assuming is some kind of a retrospective. And then some information about the restorations on page 56. This is one of those sets where you can't really see it very well unless I really back up the camera. So obviously contents. I'm not going to go through all of these, but as you can see, we've got some pretty great film stills. Section talking about the languages. And then we get into the history of Shaw Brothers. This is going to be really interesting. I'm actually almost more interested in the history of the Shaw Brothers than I am of the movies themselves. Um, but I am excited to go through and watch them and just uh, just absorb, you know. That's part of the fun of these Arrow box sets is learn something about film and then also sit down and really experience that era of filmmaking. So here we're getting into the film notes about each of the individual releases. It's nice that they include original posters. Gives all the films a little bit more context. Some really fun, uh, really fun posters on here too, actually. Oh, there's a good one. <laughs> Please let there be a giant King Kong character in this. Some of these films I know a little bit more about than others, but for the most part I'm going in very cold. Um, mostly I know names of Shaw Brothers movies than I know the movies themselves. The Five Venoms is probably the movie I'm the most familiar with. And here's the section on the stars. It's great that they put names to faces on this too. That's going to be really, really helpful actually. Save me from having to scoot onto IMDb while I'm watching the movie, breaking my concentration. 
And then the notes on the restorations. All right, and then as with many of these Mammoth box sets, we've got uh, the discs kept in book form. Okay, we're going to open it up. I want to make sure you guys can actually see what's in here. King Boxer. Oh, and I love that they actually include the special features right here so you actually know what's on the disc. A lot of box sets recently have been doing a really poor job of actually telling you what's on the disc. You literally have to boot it up just to figure out what it is that you're going to look at. The Boxer from Shang Tung. Sorry, I am sure I will be butchering the pronunciations. Five Shaolin Masters slash Shaolin Temple. Mighty Peking Man. I'm fairly certain I saw a review of this movie back in the day. If it's the movie I'm thinking of, we'll find out when I sit down to watch it. It's one I've definitely wanted to see if it's the movie I'm picturing. Challenge of the Masters slash Executioners from Shaolin. Chinatown Kid. The Five Venoms and Crippled Avengers. The interior art on this is just wonderful. Heroes of the East and Dirty Ho. Then we've got music from Shaolin Temple, Mighty Peking Man, and Chinatown Kid. And then music from The Five Venoms, Crippled Avengers, and Dirty Ho. All right, so there you have it. Shaw Scope Volume 1. I definitely need to make sure I watch this sometime before Shaw Scope Volume 2 comes out because I need to know whether or not that's a limited edition I'm going to need to buy or if it's one that I can skip. So if you guys have watched these movies, be sure to let me know down in the comments what I'm in for. I can't wait to dig into this. I just did a week of Kung Fu movies. I'm going to try and continue with themed weeks, so I'll break away from Kung Fu for a little bit, and then we'll be digging right back into Kung Fu with Shaw Scope in the near future. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a great week in movies.